Hi there, I'm going to be showing you how to make a paper marigold. This is a, a traditional craft made uh, for the Day of the Dead to be placed on a, an ofrenda, an altar. Um, the supplies that you're going to need. The paper is napkins that I had found at the Dollar Tree or any other party supply store. I was able to get a pack of 36 gold and 36 burgundy a dollar packet at the Dollar Tree. You'll also need a pair of scissors, floral tape also from Dollar Tree, floral wire also from Dollar Tree, and again wire cutters Dollar Tree, and a pen which will become the stem of our marigold. To start you want to get um, a, take one napkin. It's going to separate into four separate sheets. And the way we do that, um, you open the napkin. You're going to first cut along the big seam right down the middle. Okay, once you've done that, open it once again. You'll have two separate pieces now to cut. There's two now, and one more time we're going to cut. Okay, so my example flower here is made with six sheets of the gold napkin squares. Um, for this demonstration flower, I'm going to use four squares of gold and two of the burgundy. I want to put one burgundy, I'm just going to play around with it, one burgundy on bottom, and then I'd like to put two gold, burgundy in the middle, two more gold on top. Okay, all right. So the first step, once we've got all of our squares cut, we're going to fold the stack of six napkin uh, squares into a fan. So I'm going about three quarters of an inch or so. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. I'm gonna make my first fold and crease it, flip it over. I'm just gonna go back and forth. All right. All right, once you've got your fan complete, you will get a piece of your floral wire and cut off oh, about six inches or so of floral wire. Snip. All right, you're going to take one end of the floral wire, wrap it over and around the middle of your fan. Okay bunch it up just slightly and then just holding firmly to both pieces of the wire both ends you're gonna just spin it around you want to you want to get it nice and snug in there okay once you've got your wire twisted it's holding this tight now we're going to we're going to make the petals more realistic by trimming and the way that I've Seeing that works best here is take start with one of your ends. You're going to kind of cut off a corner of both sides of this end. Just cut straight down. And then just to kind of give it even a little bit more of a rough edge, you're going to do a couple of snips right in the center there. So you cut the corners and then a couple of snips right in the uh, lengthwise in the middle. I'll do the same to the other side. So it's cutting off the corners. Flip it over this time. And then a couple of snips down the middle. Okay. All right. So I'm going to my napkins happen to have a white backing on them, which is which is okay. You could also use uh, tissue paper, crepe paper. Um, I was just able to find the, the napkins and the colors that I liked, so I'm using those. Um, so what we're going to do now 
make sure your colored side is up. You're just going to kind of open up that fan and very carefully peel up the layers of your napkin. So here's my first gold layer. Pull it up. Okay, and then I find the next layer and carefully just work it up. Okay, I'm turning my first burgundy layer here to add some color. Okay, another gold layer. So since we have six layers of the napkin squares, there'll be six sections here to pull apart. That was section four. And then five. And then six is the bottom layer there. There's half of our flower. And you can kind of fiddle with it to get it laying how you want. You might want to wait till you're finished with the other side too, and we'll adjust. Okay, so again, open up the side a little bit. Find your first layer, your top layer. Peel it up. Second layer. Okay, now my burgundy layer. Fourth layer back into gold. You know what, I think I put two layers at once, so I'm going to separate those now. There we go. And the fourth, the gold. And the fifth. And then our last back layer here, the burgundy. All right, and then just kind of fluff it, shake it, however you want to do. It looks nice and full. There's our marigold. All right, now to give it a stem, I found just kind of pull that wire. We've already got it twisted up at the base of the flower. That's holding the flower together. So you'll want to just straighten it, straighten that. Uh, wire out a little bit. Line up the wire with your pen. I'll turn it so you can see a little bit better. So the the back of the pen is just up right to the the flower and the, the wire is laying against the, the pen. I'm going to get your floral tape. I kind of have to use my thumb to hold it down just a little bit to get the first to get it stuck together. All right, and floral tape, as you probably know when you're working with it, you have to give a little pull as you work to get it really sticky so that it will hold. So I'll go around a couple of times at the top there, and then you're just going to spin the pen. Let the tape go round and round. I'm keeping a little tension on the tape so that it really grips the pen and the wire together. Oops. Got off track, but that's all right. We'll start again. All right, and once you get down to the tip here, I try to straighten out my line a little bit. Go around a couple of times, nice and tight. Give a little pull. Push down that end a little bit. And now you've got a marigold with a pen. All right, have fun.